Bitcoin is about to break, and when it does, it's going to provide us with some amazing opportunities to profit off the volatility in these markets. So we are going to be diving into the charts and discussing how I plan to trade this price action in the coming days and weeks. So make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, make sure to click that bell for notifications because we are bringing you the most timely and the juiciest Bitcoin updates here on YouTube as Bitcoin is consolidating within this symmetrical triangle. This pattern is 100% going to break, but the question is, are we going to break to the upside or are we going to break to the downside? Now, unlike a lot of YouTube channels on here, which are going to tell you, wait for the break and then enter some kind of trade, we're going to sit back and come up with a plan so that we can get some kind of juicy ninja entry like we have right here on this long position or even like we have right here on this short position where we have plans in advance that we make in the Casper Crew VIP Discord and then we know exactly when to execute so that we can profit off of the trade and we're not catching the move after it's already happened. So for me, whether or not this thing breaks up, whether or not breaks down does not matter. People ask me all the time, Jason, what's going to happen to the price? My answer is the same. It depends. We cannot know what the the price is going to do. But what we can do is we can have a plan for regardless of what the price does. So if something happens, we can then have a plan in response to that action. So first, let's talk about what we are going to do if the price breaks up out of this triangle. Okay. Now we have to understand the larger context of this market right here, which is the fact that we have been trading in this sideways range now since basically the Friday, January 20th of 2023. And something that's very, very interesting about this range is that we have actually been putting in a series of higher lows and higher highs. What does that mean? That means objectively speaking right now, the price of Bitcoin is in an uptrend. And unless we lose the trend, we can expect that a higher high will be put in as long as we hold the very important level of $21,400. As long as we don't lose $21,400, I'm personally expecting a new high, which is why I'm still holding one of the long trades that I'm currently in right now. And by the way, if you want to take advantage of 0% limit fees on Bybit, click the link in the description. 0% limit fees on derivative contracts. Also, if you deposit $100, you get a month free of the Crypto Fusion Trading Bot. Also, if you do want to join the community where we give the trade setups, this one was given yesterday live during the VIP live stream. We also give trade setups in the Discord every single day, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. It's not a signals group, but it's a community of education and we provide top-notch technical analysis and it's a great value. So as long as we maintain these higher highs and higher lows, we can expect to move if this triangle breaks out to two targets. Target number one is going to be $22,800. This is the high volume node of the entire range and it's a very clear support resistance flip. And also if we take a look at the target from the trend line of this triangle and we extrapolate the breakout, we can see it's coming in right around this zone as well, giving us some nice confluence with a local Fibonacci golden pocket retracement. And so basically if we get a breakout to the upside, and we're not already in a long trade, let's say we're not in a long trade, uh, and we're looking for a trade when the triangle breaks out, instead of FOMOing in at the top of the move, we wait for a potential short position, okay? If we reclaim 22,900, then I believe we're going back to the high of the range around $24,000, where we have the value area high confluence with the golden pocket. If we get above this with no bearish signals, I believe we are going to put in a new high to fulfill what I like to call the August pattern. What is the August pattern? The August pattern is something that we have seen happening within this massive sideways range that the Bitcoin price is trading. As we can see right here, we have this large value area with the high being around 23K and the lows being around 18K. And the last time we came up to the high of this value area, we poked our head out once, twice, three times. And on that third time, we got to move all the way back down to the low of the range. And so if we're going to get another big push up, I would expect to do the same exact thing. Now there's two potentials that could happen here. Either we reject from the Fibonacci golden pocket that we have just above us at around 26 K or we get a legitimate breakout and make our way up to the $30,000 level. Okay, so this is actually very exciting times because when we take a look at the lower term time frames right now, it looks to me that we are forming some very bullish patterns. We have right here on the daily time frame almost confirmed a hidden bullish divergence, which is where the price is making a higher low and the momentum is making a lower low. Okay, and then on the four hour time frame, we have potentially forming here 
regular bullish divergences, okay, regular bullish divergences are basically where we have a very deep momentum wave like we do right here, and then a more shallow momentum wave. This is a pattern that is currently in the formation right now, we had it back over here. And as you can see, when we get that pattern, it leads to a very powerful move to the upside. And I know what you're thinking about this pattern, you're like, Jason, you know, that pattern looks a little bit like a set of butt cheeks, but the right cheek is smaller than the left cheek. And you know what, you're absolutely right. The left cheek is much bigger than the right cheek. This is called the uneven butt cheek pattern. And when I see this, it gets me more excited than the time me and Carl from the moon went to McDonald's in his Maserati. That was a very exciting time in my life. And so if we get this pattern, we could see that potentially we could have a very serious move to the upside. And personally for me, I am actually expecting a new high to be put in as long as we hold $21,000. $400. We have these very bullish signals printing. However, we have to be real and understand that anything could happen. And although the lower time frames are looking very bullish, anything can happen. And so we have to have a plan for the downside. And in that case, guys, what are we looking at? We are looking at this trend line that we have right here, a very, very key support. And if we lose this support, then what has happened is we are officially now entering into a downtrend on a higher term time frame. You always hear people say the trend is your friend. Well, right now, the trend is an uptrend because since November, we've made a low, a high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low, a higher high. If we now make a lower low that comes below the previous higher low, we are officially in a downtrend which means we can then look to short a rise to the upside. And the way we would look to short a rise is by pulling our Fibonacci from basically the high to the future low that may or may not be put in. And then we look to basically take a short trade from the top of what will be a bearish head and shoulder pattern, right? So, you know, a lot of people wait for the breakdown of the head and shoulders before they get into the trade. For me, for us, we like to wait for a good entry where we can have a very good risk to reward ratio because this is going to make us more money over the long run and we'll be able to enter with much bigger position sizes using better risk management, right? That is what we would look for if we put in that lower low. And by the way, if you want to learn how to trade this way, you can check out the courses at jasoncaspertrading.com. If you want to stop gambling away your money and actually do this right, 20% discount on the course. And this is changing the way thousands of people approach the charts because it gives you a system so that you're not chasing price, so that you're not trading with emotion, so that you have your risk management on point, so that even if you're taking losses, which will happen, you can still be profitable over time. And if we do get this lower low, then I would actually expect unfortunately, for us to basically play out that August pattern where we will start to put in much lower prices on Bitcoin, coming back down to the lows of the range, potentially down to 18K, all the way down to maybe even taking out the lows at $15,000. And of course, as a trader, we welcome this because we only care about volatility, but also as a hodler, guys, understanding where we are in the market cycle, understanding that we're about a year out before the halving. This is giving us still a great opportunity if we make our way back down to lower Bitcoin prices to accumulate very cheaply for that next bull market. That's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. May everybody be blessed in the name of Jesus, the Messiah. Even if you're not religious, I still pray that you are blessed in many, many ways. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace.